Hey guys, this looks like a fun one. It says factor completely. So first thing we can try is changing this x minus three cubed into x minus three times x minus three times x minus three. And after we multiply all this out, I don't see an easy way to factor this. We could do some polynomial long division and break it out, but I'm noticing something different. These are both perfect cubes. So let's use the notes for difference of cubes. So we can rewrite this where the eight is two cubed. And that'll make it easy for us to identify the a and b for our formula. a is the first term that's cubed, so that's going to be x minus 3. And b is the second term that's cubed, so that's going to be 2. And now that we know the a and b, we can just plug them into this formula. We're going to be finding x minus 3 cubed minus 2 cubed. Let's copy down the parentheses. For the first parentheses, a is x minus 3. And then we're going to subtract b, which is 2. And then for the second parentheses, a squared would be x minus 3 squared plus... And then for the middle term, a times b would be 2 times x minus 3. And then for the third term, b squared would be 2 squared. And now we could just clean things up. For the first parentheses, x minus 3 minus 2 is x minus 5. And for the second parentheses, x minus 3 squared is x minus 3 times x minus 3, which is x squared minus 6x plus 9. And then we can distribute the 2 to both these terms. So we have 2 times x, which is 2x, and then 2 times negative 3, which is negative 6. And last, we're going to add 2 squared, which is 4. And now we can simplify this one step further. Let's bring down the first parentheses. And for the second parentheses, let's combine like terms. We have 1x squared, and then we have negative 6x plus 2x, which is negative 4x. And for the constants, we have 9 minus 6, which is 3, plus 4, which gives us 7. The second term does have a degree 2, but since there's no integer solutions, we usually consider this done. So we can put a box around it. So we have now factored this completely. How exciting. And this is what it could look like if we didn't stop at this step.